Hello my Pelegrin friends, this is the first time I'm narrating these videos and I hope you can understand me, smiley face. All, all of the narrations for this video were made before the one you are listening now, as I am still learning the trade. So be mild on the comments below, another smiley face. Okay, let's jump to the story. We are transmitting the qualifiers from the city of Belasco in the west coast of the USA. Because we have added narrations, uh, from now on our qualifying transmission will be short. We have already talked with the event organizers and they are okay with it. So, this morning we will have 8 quali laps, then I stop for lunch, another 7 quali laps, I stop for tea, and the last 7 quali laps. We will start from the bottom of the table with Poliana, who is at the last position, until Arthur Walker at the fourth. 14th position. So, without further ado, now let's start with Poliana's quali lap. Poliana Vaz is ready to make her comeback on the track. After a tough race that left her with some injuries, she's back with brand new sportive front and rear bumpers. Poli's got the determination and talent to be a serious contender. Let's see her quali round with the new bumpers now. Polly just finished her lap, and because she's the first to qualify, of course, she's at the moment in first with 1 minute 24 seconds and 701 milliseconds. Her risk was at 73% and her vision was at 79.5%. And our next drive is... Team Baidargan is getting hyped for the next race after a rough last outing. He started strong but had an early crash that knocked him out for a bit. Now, with a new sportive front bumper and a rear bumper from XC Sport, he's ready to get back on track and show everyone what he's made of. Chimbai has got the skills and determination, so let's see now what he's got. Chimbai just finished his lap. 
is in second for the time being with 1 minute, 29 seconds and 79 milliseconds. His risk was at 65% and vision was 69.2%. And our next drive is... Zacharias Galanoglu is back and ready to make a serious comeback at the West Coast track. After facing some challenges in his last race after drinking some ocean water, he's rolling in with brand new sportive front and rear bumpers. Let's see if those new, new bumpers will bring Zach to the mid-table of the competition. And he's starting... Zach just finished his lap and he's taking the second position from Team Boy with 1 minute, 24 seconds and 815 milliseconds, just 100 slower than, than Poilet. His risk was at 76% and vision was 71.2%. And our next drive is... Donatella Vitello, or Donna as her fans call her, is getting ready to make a comeback on the track. After a tough last race that left her with a concussion, she's back and better than ever with the brand new front and rear sportive bumpers. Donna's got the grit and skill to take on the competition, so let's see what may be an epic comeback. just pushed Chimbai Dargan down to 4th and took the 3rd position with 1 minute, 26 seconds and 738 milliseconds. Her risk was at 68% and vision at 73.8%. And our next drive is... Reinaldo Cabral is pumped and ready to hit the West Coast track. After facing the rocks in the big ring, he's bouncing back with the brand new front hood and rear bumper. Let's see now his quality round and see if he managed to get a good comeback.
Everyone's lap is 1 minute 18 seconds and 830, 833 milliseconds. His risk was at 88% and vision was 84.3%. And our next drive is... Juliana Frag is back and ready to hit the track. After a tough race in the big ring which she finished in 4th and after starting 3rd, she's feeling super determined to show off her skills here at the West Coast. Let's see what she's gonna give us today. Drive is Nina Hill is back and ready to crush it on the West Coast track today. She feels super determined to show off her skills and acquire a first starting grid position as in the big ring last time. With her competitive spirit and resilience, Nina is actually definitely a racer to watch. Let's see what she's brought to the track today. is a match to right now at the moment. Nina's risk was at 80% and her vision was 79%. And our next drive is... Arthur Walker is totally pumped and ready to hit the west coast track near Belasco in the Redwood district. After an epic race in the big ring which he couldn't finish after things got a bit wild when he lost control and got stuck in the trench. But no worries, he's coming back stronger with a fresh front hood and rear bumper from the lightweight race line. With his competitive vibe and determination, he's set to make a serious comeback. You definitely don't want to miss his qualifying round. Let's see what he's got.
high slam, but fell short a few milliseconds from taking the third spot from Julian. He secured the fourth position with 1 minute 23 seconds and 459 milliseconds. His risk was 74% and vision 76.2%. Let's summarize the table fast as it is time for lunch and the team here is looking angry at me. In first we have a great lap from Reynaldo who seems to hold on to the first position for long. Then we have Nina who also did a very nice lap and is in the second position. Juliana follows Nina in third and Arthur who was 150 milliseconds lower took the fourth position. Polly and Zach both had 124 minutes and they look like they will stay in the bit of the table after all of the rounds. Donna didn't show the expected comeback we were promised, but we hope she does it in the races. And for this morning round, our last position is T.Y. who didn't look like he was prepared at all. Okay, guys, you are now free. All free to go to lunch. Talk to you after lunch, my very good friends. Okay, now it is the end of today's story and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment below with your constructive feedback, with your constructive feedback so I can improve in future videos. Bye now.